Many people still wrongly believe that a pyramid scheme is a scam with no product and a legitimate multi-level marketing company does have a product. This is unfortunately false. There have been more than 30 companies shut down for being pyramid schemes and all of them had products. A great example of this is Vima, which became popular in the mid 2010s. Every single one of these companies were also considered to be a legitimate multi-level marketing company up until the day they were proven not to be. So how do we know which ones are legit and which ones are pyramid schemes? To start, we're going to have to understand the difference between a Ponzi scheme, a pyramid scheme, and an MLM. Thanks to Bernie Madoff, most people know what a Ponzi scheme is. This is robbing Peter to pay Paul. The organizer tells investor A that they figured out a way to make great returns, whether it's stocks or Forex or whatever it is, and promises them a massive return. All they have to do is hand over their money and wait for their return. The scam here is that there's no real business. Money to pay investor A comes from investor B who is told the same thing. Now to pay investor B, you get even more money from investor C and so on. The problem with a Ponzi scheme is that eventually you will run out of people to recruit and you can't continue to pay returns to your earlier investors. At that point, the organizer will likely either turn themselves in or flee to another country and get plastic surgery or something like that. Needless to say, Ponzi schemes are illegal. So what's a pyramid scheme? A pyramid scheme is a business model that recruits members with a promise of payments or services for enrolling others into the scheme rather than supplying investments or the sale of products. Sounds almost identical to a Ponzi scheme. The way pyramid schemes get around this is by tying a product to the cost of joining the company as a distributor, usually in the form of a starter kit that you have the responsibility of selling. So you're technically not just investing in the opportunity like a Ponzi scheme, you're making a purchase along with it. Thus, the company is making a sale. You could then earn commissions on the sales that you make to new recruits who pay to join the company. Now the company can say, we don't pay anyone to recruit. That would be a pyramid scheme. So you're not getting paid to recruit someone, but when you recruit someone, you get paid. Basically, a Ponzi scheme with extra steps. One big problem with these pyramid scheme products is that they're usually overpriced knockoffs of items you already know and trust, like shampoo, cleaning supplies, etc. And the commission amount is usually so low that you actually stand to make more money off of recruiting new people who buy starter kits rather than actually trying to make genuine sales of the product. Because of this, everyone who joins the company will be subtly motivated to simply keep recruiting rather than becoming genuine salespeople. Never mind the fact that direct sales makes up less than 1% of annual retail sales in North America each year, meaning it's practically an obsolete business model anyways. We have Target, Walmart, Amazon. How well do you think you would do trying to compete against those retailers by yourself or with a team with a brand that is less widely known and more expensive. Okay, so what is a legitimate multi-level marketing company? Most MLMs say you can make money two ways, by selling the MLM products yourself to retail customers who are not involved in the MLM, or two, by recruiting new distributors and earning commissions based on what they buy and their sales to retail customers. The FTC says that if the MLM is not a pyramid scheme, it will pay you based on your sales to retail customers without having to recruit new distributors. If the MLM is not a pyramid scheme? Seems like a weird way of phrasing things if in fact pyramid schemes and MLMs are different things. Shouldn't the distinction be pretty clear? Then they say, most people who join legitimate MLMs make little or no money. Some of them lose money. In some cases, people believe they've joined a legitimate MLM, but it turns out to be an illegal pyramid scheme that steals everything they invest and leaves them deeply in debt. To me, this sounds pretty confusing. If MLMs can look like pyramid schemes and most legitimate MLM participants make little or no money anyways, where is the legitimate business opportunity? Maybe it will help to look at the list of pyramid scheme red flags the FTC provides in determining whether an MLM company is a pyramid scheme or not. One. Promoters make extravagant promises about your earning potential. Stop, these promises are false. Two, promoters emphasize recruiting new distributors for your sales network as the real way to make money. Walk away. In a legitimate MLM program, you should be able to make money just by selling the product. Three, promoters play on your emotions or use high pressure sales tactics, maybe saying you'll lose the opportunity if you don't act now and discouraging you from taking time to study the company. Leave by the nearest exit. Four, distributors buy more products than they want to use or can resell just to stay active in the company or to qualify for bonuses or other rewards. If you see this happening, keep your money. I've been making videos for almost four years about multi-level marketing companies, and in every single one of my investigations, the four red flags of an illegal pyramid scheme have shown up multiple times each. So let me get this straight. In a Ponzi scheme, all I had to do was hand over my money and wait for my return. But in an MLM, I not only have to hand over my money, 
I also have the burden of trying to sell stuff and pay for monthly fees and product orders and recruit other people to do the same. And most people make no money anyways. And yet Ponzi schemes are illegal, but MLMs are not. The Bernie Madoff Ponzi scheme that I talked about earlier took decades to accumulate and was estimated to be worth $64 billion when it was discovered. But the Direct Selling Association, which lobbies the government on behalf of MLM companies, reported earnings of $186.9 billion in revenue for 2021. It's easy to imagine that the total amount generated by multi-level marketing since it was first invented is well over a trillion dollars. The truth is, multi-level marketing, sometimes called network marketing or social selling or a referral marketing or direct sales, etc., is a made up term used to disguise what they really are. MLMs are pyramid schemes. And what are pyramid schemes? Ponzi schemes with extra steps. Thus, MLM is a Ponzi scheme disguised as a legitimate direct sales business. Decades of documentation and research unanimously show that 99% of MLM participants annually lose money. The endless chain recruiting model system is designed for only the people at the very top to make any profit. And in order to get to the top, you must deceive people in mass into believing that this is the way they will achieve financial freedom and success. This means leading people down a primrose path where they are convinced to join and and stay in the company by being subjected to logical fallacies, new age spirituality, toxic positivity, social proof, peer pressure, and alternative facts. This can lead to a religious level of devotion to the company, which is really a commercial cult that can cost them their relationships with their friends and family. Real facts, like the 99% loss rate, are deflected away with false equivalencies or shunned as negative thinking. So Marco, are you saying that this industry that has been around for decades and has generated over a trillion dollars is actually the biggest Ponzi scheme and commercial cult in human history and the government is just allowing it? Yes, I am. I would hope by now in 2023, there have been enough examples of government corruption and bombshell fraud cases for this opinion to not be looked at as a conspiracy theory. The connections between MLM and the US government go to the very top. From the fact that Donald Trump was a paid spokesperson for the MLM company ACN for 10 years before he became the president, to him installing Betsy DeVos, wife of Amway CEO Richard DeVos Jr. as his secretary of education, to the fact that Kamala Harris, the current vice president, is married to Doug Emhoff, a lawyer who worked for the law firm Venable, which represented Herbalife during the period of time when Kamala Harris was the attorney general General of California. And many people speculate this was the reason why she chose not to investigate Herbalife. And this is only scratching the surface. And investigations are only launched when enough public attention and outrage is focused on a specific MLM company. Instead of addressing the problem at its core, the FTC pretends all MLMs are legitimate except the ones that are singled out for prosecution. The irony is that their reasonings for why one company is a pyramid scheme could be levied against any of them. It's all one big performance. The FTC and their selective prosecution is essential to making sure the scam continues. To make things worse, anytime an MLM is shut down for being a pyramid scheme, it's usually not deemed to be criminal fraud. So the only consequences that the organizers of the scheme receive are a fine that is more than affordable to them. The top recruiters of the company are then usually free to go and start their own MLMs or join existing ones. When one head is cut off, two more take its place. There are more than 1,000 MLM companies today in the USA alone, making the industry itself a pyramid scheme of pyramid schemes, each company representing another offshoot of the original MLM, Amway. Thankfully, the public awareness around what MLM really is has been growing exponentially over the past few years. To understand the full history of MLM and the political fix that's still being perpetuated to this day, I have to recommend this book, Ponzinomics by Robert Fitzpatrick. I have an interview with Robert Fitzpatrick that I'll link at the end of this video. You can also find my Amazon affiliate links to the audiobook or physical copy of Ponzinomics in the description. Thanks for watching and please don't join an MLM.